it's time to learn a new variable type. So now that we know, we already know how to uh, input things into the console here by using the CIN statement here. But let's take a break from that. Let's learn a new variable type. So let's say it's we're going to learn about character variables. So char is the keyword for the character variable. So what we can do, we can give the variable, we declare our type of char here and we can give it something. Let's say it's um character. I'm just going to call it character. That's the name of my variable. And uh, we can set it equal to a just one character. So let's say we set it equal to t here. Well, this is going to be a problem here because it doesn't know what t it thinks it, it could be. It thinks we're referring to some other variable or it's trying to figure out what t is here. Now, if we put it in single quotes here, the single quotes can be found below the double quote from when we typed in our characters in this lowercase here. Now we have the character variable as t. So if we output, if we output the character value here, we will output t. Yep. And I always forget the. I'm actually going to leave one or down here so I don't forget to, to end the line every time I run it. So it outputs T, and we can put in any letter or number we'd like. Almost any. Now there's going to be some exceptions here. Nine. I can put in a, just, let's say, a. Say we put in the dollar sign. But we can we can have this equal whatever we'd like here. Now I'm gonna go over there's a lot of things we can do with this character variable here that we can't do with um anything else and um I'm gonna go over that later. But that's our character variable here. Now since we're talking about variables here. We we already know about the int type variable here. I'm just going to give an example here. We know about the float type. Let's call it y. And uh, we know, now we know about the char variable here. So right now we have three variables here. So <clears throat> the uh, the integer can only hold integer type variables, which is whole numbers here. We can't put decimals in here. The, or the, uh, we cannot hold decimals in an integer type variable. We can, we can hold whole numbers here into a float type, but it's going to be read as a, uh, a decimal. Like 2.0 is, is the same thing. And then now for the character variables, we now know how to hold characters here. So now, and that's a, so that's just the reminder here. Now what if I wanted to make, I just want to go over one last thing here, because this is going to be a short one here. For, I, for these variables here, let's say I wanted to make another variable here. Let's call it Z, and it equals to negative 17. Well, this can also get annoying too. Putting all these variables on several, several different lines here, or even put them on, on the same line like this here. Let's say I made two variables here, and I want to make two variables with one program statement. I, I can make, I just made three variables with one program statement. So the alternative that we knew how to do was make a. These are three. These are three declared variables here. Now we can go back. 
and make three variables here. We can just see all we are using is the commas here. And we don't really need the spaces either. They can, there's just still three variables here. Now I put spaces here to make it more readable, but we don't need spaces here. We don't even need the space between the commas here. In fact, we can put these on different lines like this. Now would I recommend it? No. Because <coughs> it's kind of silly here, but you can do that. Because really, it's not reading lines here. <coughs> Most of the stuff in C++ really doesn't go by what's on the line here. But rather, it doesn't even go by the spaces here. But I use spaces here to keep it more readable here. And we can also assign them in here too. Equals negative 3. This equals 7. You can say r is equal to negative 1. And this is another way to assign these here. So keeping this video short and sweet, again, that's what we know so far here about our variables here. So this is just a review on our variables here. And we learned something about the char variable. And we can also keep our lives even more simplified by putting all our, a lot of our variables on one line here. And these are all of the type int. So we're going to wrap this up and then I'm going to talk about another variable type in the next video.